Yo guys, it's Espion with an Assault Dropship video tutorial kind of demonstration showing you how I fly dropships and how I think everyone should fly dropships but everyone has their own way and this is my way and I'm showing you guys. So my four basic rules of flying dropships are uh, CAAT, Cautious, Angle, Afterburn, and MCC. Timing. I'll start off with the first one. Caution. You want to fly cautious all the time. It's really easy to get dropped out of the sky if you're not paying attention, if you're not aware of your surroundings, and if you fly into a group of AV, there's no Caution. way you're going to survive. Like, to absolutely Postal no way. MCC. So you have to be cautious all the time, and there's always dicks out there trying to ram you, like you'll see in this video, I get rammed twice. Not because I wasn't paying attention, because I wasn't aware, well I was aware, I just couldn't get away fast enough. You'll see, like I, I activate my afterburner and they just, you'll see. Second thing is angle. You always want to fly at an angle, because you always want to be moving. The little time you spend hovering should be to get a kill or because you're completely safe. You never want to stop moving. It's kind of like strafing when you're on the ground. If you strafe, you have a better chance of surviving. And if you're at an angle, it's easier to strafe, quote unquote, on a dropship. Now you see right here, I'm flying in an angle, circling this tower, trying to find someone to kill. Then I get my angle straight, boom, dead. Next, the link, and the next guy. You always want to fire at an angle. I think that's the best way for me to shoot dropship missiles. You never want to stop moving. Once you slow down, once you're in hover mode, you're the most uh, vulnerable to AB, forge guns. Uh, other incubuses uh, in and afterburner you afterburner if you're asking yourself what should I do 99% of the time afterburner is the answer afterburner is the one of like you can't fly without an afterburner it's impossible you need an afterburner afterburner is what makes the ADS like if you're flying with an, without an afterburner you're gonna get shot down, you're not gonna be able to run away from swarms, you're not gonna be able to dodge forge guns. So, afterburn, one of the most important parts of ADS. And then there's timing. You have, to, well, how my fit is, it's an enhanced booster, a complex heavy shield extender, and an afterburn, like you see right here, and a complex PG mod. You have to know when to activate that booster, and when to activate that afterburner it kind of goes hand in hand with knowing when to get the fuck out when there's heavy AV if you don't get the fuck out you're gonna die it's plain and simple oh uh, let's see I'll go over some situations where I make mistakes and where you what mistakes you should not do let's see how the game progresses I right, know I'm texting someone until I came out of the battle Alright, they took the point. Flying in, dodge the RDV. Slowing down, activate. Oh, no, I didn't activate my afterburner. Alright, I got swarm. As soon as I got swarm, afterburn. Booster. I'm out of there. Now, swarmers have three uh, swarms in a clip. If you dodge the first one, you can go in, tank the second one and the third one. They have to reload. You get the kill straight up. You just push in there. Uh, one thing though, you don't want to go head on one on one with a Nimitar Commando. They hurt and they reload fast as fuck. So you do not want to go one on one with a Nimitar Commando if you're in an ADS. Damn, getting a kill shot. I'm hovering. I know these guys are scrubs. After burn right up. You want to turn off your afterburner after you afterburn, because unless you, uh, if you don't, 
you'll be on cooldown. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. I do it naturally. We have to get into that habit of turning it off. Well, you don't, but that's the way I fly. Okay, Here comes the swarms. Tank the first one. Tank the second one. Well, those part, those are weak swarms. For those swarms, you can usually take four, and then by the fifth one, you're you're already in armor and it'll kill you. And forge guns, a uh, decent forge gunner. Well, I don't know now because forge gun. I mean, heavy's got nerf. They can barely bet anything, but. A decent Kaldari, triple damage modded, proto assault forge gun takes you out in three shots. Two for your shield, one for your armor. And with the booster, you can take uh, four on shield and one on armor. So it takes them. They ha they would have to reload if you time it right. That's where timing comes in. You take two shots. You shield boost it up. And they have to hit you two more times, they have to reload, and you come in for the kill. Let's see. Flying around, looking for the damn swarmer, I don't know where the hell he's hitting me from. Alright, he's trying to run away. Angle. Never stopped moving. I don't know. I never knew where that forge was hitting me from, but he was—he was a he was, uh, basic. He only did like a thousand one hundred damage. Active burn boost. If you time your booster right, it'll give you double reps. The way I see it, it's my own theory that. If you activate it right as your passive shields are about to regen, it'll give you one of the boosts. Well, here I go in a dropship fight. You always want to. Well, I dropship fight. It's easier to dropship fight than whatever this is. I think it's first person? Yeah, first person. Way easier. You just have to know how to aim it. You always want to aim ahead or aim uh, before. Or, I mean, after. Ahead or after. Direct doesn't, it just doesn't hit. I don't know why. The missile's too slow to connect. That guy's a scrub pilot. Hostile NCC shield damage 50%. Damn. I don't know where the fuck that forward kill is. Right here, I have to burn to cushion the blow. Cause if I wouldn't have afterburn, I would have taken full damage and probably blew up. Storm's coming. I'm already full speed because of the afterburn. Even though I turned it off, you still keep the speed. You just can't slow down. Had got the drop on it. I'm telling you to make me color. I mean, th this was a pretty easy ADS game. If, like, in the next video, I'll see if I can get into a harder match. Or there's, like, three Forge guns or something. I'll make a video on that. Yeah, it's pretty basic stuff. Objective A, no cannon targeting MCC. Flying around looking for prey. MCC shield. Oh, I know where the damn forge gun is. I'm not even trying to look for him because I have no idea where he is. I don't know. I, don't, I think I found him once and then I killed him. That was just once. Alright, supply depots can kill you. You don't want to land right next to them. You get stuck, and for some reason, environmental damage happened, and you die.
if you if you activate your afterburner, you can you can't. I mean, you can. It's not just used to run away. You can still use it to like dodge swarms while you're still engaging. But before it runs out, you do want to use it to run away. It's like even like even if you keep up the speed, and bam, I get rammed. I tried to afterburn past him, but he was already on me by the time I noticed he was coming. Uh, you gotta keep your ears up. When dr other dropships are flying super fast, or when they hit top speed, they're loud as hell. So you can hear them coming, and if you hear them coming, just afterburn. Afterburn straight up. Don't miss. Hostile MCC shield damage critical. You never want to call your dropship in the middle of a fight or work. Like anywhere near the point. You always want to go to your red line or. Like. Unless it's like you're absolutely sure it's safe. Because it's been like many, many times. The tank just rolls up. Militia tank. Three shots my dropship. The last 500k. Just because I didn't go to the fucking red line. Fucker that ran me. Objective A. Cat. Virus upload in progress. Here I am. I'm too, uh, I'm so pissed off that I can't even fire. So I just jump the fuck out and kill him. Asshole. And I calm down and happily fly away. Objective A. Virus upload failed. No cannon still online. Oh, that's another thing. You want to re reload. It's just like when you're on the gun, you want to reload all the time. That's his third swarm. And I boosted. So yes, he's reloading right now. He's reloading. I think he's Memotar Commando though. Yeah, he's a Memotar Commando. So he, he reloaded super fast. But I still got him. I'm gonna reload fast enough. Usually proto Memotar Commandos reload in two seconds and then you're getting swarmed already. I gotta reload pretty slow. As soon as you get hit, after burn. Objective A, hacked. Virus upload in progress. It's a mistake I just did there. I flew straight into the forge gunner. Gave him an easy hit. But he was weak, so I wasn't worried about it. But if it was a proto forge, I would have to have to burn again and then run away. Because of the shit. It's really hard to hit them once you're getting forged because it knocks your aim off. Right now I'm just sucking. Like I'm over here predicting his movements and he's not going where I'm predicting. See, I predicted he would move forward, but he did it. I just got railed and forged. Objective A. No cannon targeting MCC. Afterburn. I should have afterburned it after the first hit. I was too confident. Or I wanted to kill him. You always want to afterburn after the first hit because you don't know what else is going to hit you next. It's 
been too many times where you get forwards and then two seconds later you got forwards again and the first forger hits you and you're dead. And it's it's better to survive than get a kill. Way better. These things are expensive. Right there, I did the booster bad. Bad timing on that booster. I didn't, I didn't get the shields back, so I had to go. I had to run away. All the way back. While I'm here, let me get some ammo. NCC shield damage critical. Hostile NCC damage. When you're getting ammo like that, you want to keep your eyes up because. That's when you're vulnerable to getting rammed while you're on the ground. People come into the red line, just like if you were in a thales, ram you. Objective A, hacked. Virus upload in progress. really not a good idea to go into AB without having your booster back up, but if you're impatient like me, you would just do it. I mean, you don't really need the booster to survive, you just need the afterburn. Get your low life, afterburn, heal up, come back. Another thing, if you're a forge gunner, or I've ever used a forge gun, it's way easier to dodge a forge gunner when you're in an ADS if you've used a forge gunner before. Because you get the timing down. You know when the second shot's gonna be shot out if it's an assault one. Like if it's a if it's a normal one, you don't even have to worry about it because it's too slow. You'll have to burn before the first so second shot and you'll be too far away for him to hit you anymore. But if it's a an assault one, you and you learn the timing. You know it's boom shot out, boom shot out, and you know when to like move your ship out of the way. So like as the shots coming out, you're already dodging it. It, it just it takes timing. That's part of the timing thing. Learn the timing. You know when to move. You know when to have to burn. You predict. The same thing with uh, railguns, but railguns can only shoot four shots, I think, before they overheat. So if they shoot you twice and they go for the kill, uh, they're overheated. You go in and kill them, Objective unless they're a. smart Fire and they complete. do the where you shoot, wait for the heat to go down, shoot, wait for the heat to go down. But by that, you're already far away after burning. There's a, a culprit, Mr. Scrub ass tank that's been shooting at me the whole time. Malicious Scrub. This is uh, one of the mistakes I made. I make this mistake a lot. I go into the red line. I chase them into the red line. You see that eight, that dropship that just got called next to me? I didn't get the kill. I got rammed. I'm in the red line. I'm fucked. Now I'm pissed because the fucker faggot rammed me. I want to get revenge, but the asshole is a heavy and I die. Pretty stupid, but that's dust. Eddie faggot.
My hair just don't spawn anymore. Fuck it. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This was Bonds.